This video is brought to you by Nomadic Box. Who's ready for some hiking? Grab your hiking boots because today we're hiking Gothic Mountain in the Gunnison National Forest here in Colorado. Now this mountain is 12,631 feet and it's in the Elk Mountain Range. As you guys can see behind me, there's already a fantastic view of the Rocky Mountains from the parking lot where you begin the climb. It's just over seven miles round trip, I believe, and it should be pretty beautiful. If you love travel, nature, and the outdoors, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and get ready for adventure. The trail starts one mile past Gothic Town on Washington Gulch Road. You're going to be out of breath almost immediately on this trail because we did start at over 10,000 feet. And if you haven't been acclimating, in one of the mountain towns here in Colorado, it is gonna be a bit of a challenge to get used to the altitude. Now you guys might notice behind me all these yellow flowers. These are actually called glacier lilies, and they are all over the town of Crested Butte. It's just becoming a wildflower season, so it's absolutely beautiful to hit the trails. We've gone just about a mile now, and as you guys can see, the views of the Rocky Mountains are just absolutely incredible from up here. It looks like today also, I mean, I just pan the camera here, that there is a fire over here. So it looks like somewhere maybe in Gunnison, there's a fire, which is pretty unfortunate. It is really early in the season, so I hope they get it put out pretty quickly, but as you guys can see, that kind of like smoke and haze is actually making a really pretty effect on the mountains here. One of the cool things you guys will notice when hiking up here is that there are a lot of old avalanche shoots like this one. So it's looking like we have a ways to go because we're going over here. This is why it's always good to bring extra socks because right now the trail is going through a marsh and we're gonna get wet. Forgot to introduce you guys to my hiking buddy today and camera assistant. This is Mallory. If you guys want to follow her, she's at Fit Stunt Chick on Instagram, and you guys can check her out there. We work, both work together in the industry of doing stunts and movies, so we love adventure. One of my favorite things to get in the mail every month is my Nomadic subscription box. Now this box is made for adventure lovers like you and me, and it's full of never before seen in stores items that have been just released that are perfect for exploring the outdoors. In one of my last boxes, I got several items for water usage. One was an amazing recycled dry bag. Another one was a grill to throw on my campfire. But every box is such an adventure. And right now, you can actually save 10% on your first three month or longer subscription by using my code, Alice's Adventures. And there's a link in the description to check it out. Dipping into the forest, the trail goes downhill for about 0.7 miles before the real work begins and you start to make the ascent up towards Gothic Mountain. 2.4 miles, you guys are gonna come to a junction where the trail continues straight, but we're actually going to go right. And if you read the trail information here, it actually says to look for this log and rock 
So keep an eye out for those and you are gonna go right there and then that's when we're gonna head towards the peak of Gothic. Gothic was actually named for its pinnacles, which are said to resemble Gothic architecture. So this section of the trail is obviously not really maintained by the Forest Service. There is a ton of broken and dead trees across the trail up here. It probably gets really windy. This is actually kind of a little ridge line where the wind probably just like whips pretty strongly. So there are a lot of trees across the trail. Watch your step in this section. Lots of breathing breaks. Getting closer. Coming out of the trees and making the steep ascent, the views are phenomenal. One of the most challenging parts about this hike are the fall summits, and there are two. As I got closer to the first one, the wind really started to pick up. The trail continues to get even steeper and goes across shale and rock and patches of snow. So much of the Colorado mountains are just like this above the trees, rocky, narrow, and windy. Well, we thought we were at the summit, but it turns out that that second peak was the second false peak, and the actual summit is behind us. As you guys can see, we're going to be following this really narrow ridge line, but the views are pretty astonishing. After the second false peak, the trail gets easier, but a little bit scarier. At the summit, there are 360 degree views from which you can see Crested Butte, the Maroon Bells, and Castle Peak. After a quick and windy victory spin, it was time to head back down for lunch. That summit was certainly something and it was also certainly windy. We are actually on our way back down to the car right now. We've got about two and a half miles left till we get back. And we stop for lunch in a little nook to kind of protect ourselves from the wind. But all in all, this is a really great hike, super challenging. Definitely more than the mileage that was listed. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you never miss another video. 
As always, I'm Alice Ford, never stop exploring, and don't go anywhere because check out one of these other videos. I think you're gonna love them.